So hi, I'm Paul, co-founder of Summer Technologies, and we create next generation data centers. We are here at OCP, uh, OCP Global Summit, the Open Compute Project main event in the year in, in San Jose, California. And we are very, very excited to be actually introducing our new SmartPod X. The next generation of the SmartPods, actually the fifth generation of the immersion cooling technology developed by Summer. Pretty cool. <laughs> so just for a little bit of context, uh, data centers, cloud providers, all, all these huge hyperscalers consume 6% of the global electricity, more than India, and generate 4% of the global CO2 emissions, more than two times commercial air travel. By 2025, it is expected to consume 20% of the global electricity. It's crazy. More and more, they require to grow faster than what the computing capacity of deployment new data centers is possible. Also, there is this huge need of, of expensive buildings for deploying the compute. Actually, around $55,000 per, per rack space, only the building itself. To try to be more efficient, usually uh, you have to locate these buildings in very cold and remote places. Um, basically, uh, you can use free air cooling, free air cooling technologies to try to avoid air conditioning systems, etc., which consume a lot of electricity. Well, this is uh, quite efficient, it works. But uh, it has certain disadvantages, of course. Uh, you have potential problems with the uh, environment, so you have to take care of the quality of the air, uh, particles in suspension, humidity, etc., etc. Also, it creates uh, these problems of uh, latency. Nowadays, more and more, it's more important the, the, the latency in the communications. So with 5G, uh, fiber optics, etc., the closer you are to the service, much better. So having this infrastructure close to these final end users and the cities, etc., is much more important. So well, uh, with our technology, we can solve uh, these four problems. The energy efficiency, the expensive space, the real estate, the building costs, and then the physical location of the systems. You can place this next to wherever you want, and even without the building itself. So this is the SmartPod X. Um, maybe you know us before from the SmartPod uh, 3 series and 4 series. This actually has been redesigned from scratch. It's much more uh, modular and practical. It has a, as you notice here, actually, it's a little bit strange maybe, but we've created the first open compute compatible immersion cooling technology of the market. We have actually the 21 inches rack, but with the adaptability for a 19 inches regular rack. So we can be flexible. Our co-location customers will love it because they can basically have an OCP rack or a 19 inches rack or even both of them in the same place. If you come a little bit here, um, you will see that at the end, we have in this case a 19 inches regular rack with uh, our adapter to place any um, regular and, and, and any kind of computing here. And from here, we have the power supply, the open compute power supply, and we can place 21 inches open compute hardware. The magic of the new system also is the modularity of the cooling distribution unit. What we've been able to do here is place the cooling distribution unit racked like a server. So you don't have to basically mess around uh, any kind of centralized uh, cooling distribution unit, no pipings, no maze of tubes around your data center. It's everything embedded here, no potential leaks. It's everything here and embedded. This gives you several advantages. First of all is resilience, because you can basically have not only redundancy per CDU, because we have dual pumping system inside this small space, but you can have several CDUs per rack unit. It also allows you to increase the density so here we can have more than 100 kilowatts, even in hot climates like Middle East or Africa. But you can even go to more than 200 kilowatts in this small space. Yeah, it's actually 20 to 30 times more density for the average compared to the average uh, rack. Um, at the end, uh, we can have um, this modularity at the 22, in this case, open compute unit, open, co open, open units actually, but actually um, 23 uh, standard uh, survey units. And then we have the 45 standard survey units or 42 open units. What we, yeah, um, what we do here is actually using our synthetic uh, fluid. It's a um, synthetic 
hydrocarbon based but inert to the hardware and eco-friendly it's totally non-toxic and biodegradable as you can see it's very clear you can actually submerge any kind of hardware and just as a, as a demo we can we can do it live now uh, here we have this uh, power supplies from a, an open compute rack and here actually uh, this is one of the power supplies that I, I can basically hot swap and introduce live directly inside the tank as is and it just starts running as simple as that very very simple as you notice at the bottom these power supplies basically distribute the electricity through the bus bar so we optimize also the uh, not only the operational cost of the cooling but also the conversion between AC to the DC because uh, we can distribute through bus bar directly to the servers here at the front what we have is um, the area for the power distribution units regular power distribution units so for the 19 inches regular servers we can power them directly from here and the magic is that this lid can be flexible so that if your uh, data center infrastructure requires um, to basically have side by side back to back racks like this you can basically reverse the lid and operate from each of the sides and from the bottom part of it what we have here this space allows us to rack what we call the smart lift which is a crane system that allows you to basically lift any kind of hardware which may be very dense of course so uh, it allows you to easily remove any kind of component if you can come a little bit closer we have this uh, system that we basically invented so that you can lift the service and it unlocks it from the actual unit so with the crane system you can raise it and then you can stack in the in the actual rails um, you can put the our maintenance rails that allow us to uh, operate the service directly on top of the bath coming to the CU a little bit closer also we've been able to pack all the cooling distribution unit in this very small space before in our uh, SmartPod 3 series and 4 series we had the backpack with the dry zone here we actually been, we've been able to reduce and compress everything so that it's much more accessible even that we have the smart lift you can operate it by hand directly but also you can operate the city use like a server so it's the same concept and allows us to automate this maintenance of the physical layer of the data center thanks to being able to subtract and hot swap also city use so at the same time you are as resilient as uh, with the hardware itself you don't need to plan ahead the cold aisles the fault ceilings the raised flooring you just drop boxes and if you need more cooling power you just drop more CDUs as simple as that and we have redundancy installed inside each CDU so it's not only resilient and redundant if you insert more CDUs but also also at the CDU level you have dual pump system here we can do a quick demo now it's running at the, C at the uh, basically through the pump one I can turn this and basically kick off the second pump Automatable. yep transparent also to the to the uh, interaction I mean now I'm doing it manually but of course the system is, a lo is uh, smart enough to be able to swap if there's any anomaly also what we have here is um, an embedded autonomous system so that you cannot actually um, control the system directly from here so you can connect remotely and you have a screen of management locally but of course it's uh, perfect for uh, edge computing so that you can uh, basically control uh, any kind of smart pod deployed even uh, in strange and, and remote locations geographically distributed anywhere so at the end uh, the average power uh, usage effectiveness of the industry is 1.89 this is the data, latest data from data center dynamics uh, of course hyperscalers have much lower uh, PUEs in this case we basically have an average PUE of 103 which is an order of magnitude even more efficient and this can be placed even in Middle East or Africa with the same PUE the magic of the system is that the gap in temperature between the chipset temperature and the actual fluid can be very very low so this delta T can be narrow as 5 degrees Celsius for example and this allows us to operate for example at 50 degrees 120 degrees um, Fahrenheit outside the building 
So at the end, um, with this technology, we are disrupting all the physical layer of the data center and Summer uh, believes, truly believes in a more efficient, more cost-effective, more flexible and safe digital world. So we are very happy to show this at Open Compute Summit and we'll welcome you at uh, basically booth A25, if I'm not wrong. So um, happy to be here. We have a ton of folks here looking around. Uh, now it's time for the uh, actual uh, official presentations of the OCP. Um, so we welcome you to also um, show uh, and, and see around the, the live streams and happy to, to be here. Thank you very much.